Guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year's to you and your family. We're back on the channel. We're back on the GTV build. It's been a little while since we've made a uh, video, but that was just during the holiday season. Just family coming in and out. Just was focused on family and Christmas and New Year's. So now we're back at it. Fresh start 2026. I think you noticed there are there we go. There are dots all over the car. What are we doing? I think you know. Let's scan. All right. What we're doing is we're going to be scanning the car, the whole car. I'm not really worried about the roof. So here's the thing. Here's what I was thinking through the holiday season, and really this has been before that. I need a good scan of the car, not just on the outside, but also on the inside of the car too. And we're going to be working on doing both today. In this video, it's just going to be the outside of the car. We've got some really cool projects on the outside going on. Um, time will tell what we're doing. Uh, so I'm not going to tell you right now, other than we're scanning the car, you might be able to figure out some stuff that we're doing. But this has been something I've wanted to do for a while. I think a scanner in a restoration shop uh, resto mod shop is just super super important so i'm going to set the camera up and you're going to watch me and i'll talk as i go i might get frustrated uh we're, but we're going to try to scan this whole car once all the way around so i'll have perfect data for measurements and all the other fun stuff that we're that we're going to need for projects on the body hey right, guys we are scanning away so the key is not to go too fast, and you'll also see all the markers, these little dots on the car. That helps, that kind of helps to, uh, well, I guess for the scanner to get aligned properly and see the surface. Uh, this is really my first time to be scanning, so it is just definitely a work in progress for me for sure so we're just kind of going around and getting everything and if it loses tracking then you just kind of go back to the point where it can pick back up and and scan so that's kind of what I'm doing I'm on fast mode on this Vega uh, just because it's the well after I read some of the instructions and watched some other youtubers they said fast was the way to go to scan such a large object so I would do HD if I was scanning just a smaller object but I'm not so we're gonna I want to get the trunk because trunk's gonna be important in this project for sure And I'll, and I'll clean up post, we'll clean up some and go from there. So, and I'll show you what all that looks like on the computer once we're done. But I'm just trying to get a kind of a, a quick scan. And if I have to stitch things together, I will do it through NSTAR's um, software. Let's see. So again, this is just kind of a quick scan, but you don't, you know, you don't want to fly through it, but you can, you know, kind of go at a, a decent pace to get everything. Let's see. I'm just trying to get all the jam, door jams. Of course, the car doesn't have doors on it, as you can see, and that's okay for what I need. I don't care for the doors to be in the scan. So we're just scanning away here. Oop, lost track. There we go. Lost track again. All right, there we go. So yeah, so if you lose track, you just have to go back a little bit and let the scanner figure it out. All right. This is a tricky one here. Maybe I can, oh, lost track. Let's see. All right, there we go. I'm going to try to sneak around to the front. All right. 
right now we're onto the front of the car and again we're getting all the detail as we can now this is on fast not HD but it's still going to be very high quality with this Vega I did some test runs and stuff and it looks really good so this is the first time scanning the full car right, let's come back around here for one more there's a little, so there, there can be some pink areas as you're scanning and what that means is you've got to go back and rescan that area. Green is what you want to see on the scanner. All right, we are at my computer and I've got the NSTAR Star Vision software up and running. So this is the file I plugged in the Vega to the computer and downloaded the file. Um, I also did a couple other files I'll show you here in a second, but as you can see, it's pretty rough, got some holes in it, all that fun stuff, uh, but not too bad. Um, looks really good. So I did some measurements from here to here, the mounting points of the bumpers, and here to here, and I did some um, rear taillight measurements and some measurements here, try to get it straight for you, and some measurements here on the headlights. So what I did is, once I cleaned up everything, got rid of all this noise down here, I did a mesh. And let me show you the mesh. And there you go, there's the mesh. Now I still got a little more clean up here. I could probably just remove these wheels or what have you, but all of the data was retained. Um, I filled in holes, there were some holes around, so I filled them in so it was basically filling in all the holes, which is still fine. The, Everything matches up. Um, I did some, again, more measurements. All the measurements look really good. Uh, the whole nine yards, you know, you can just kind of see a little noise here. That may be some dust on the car or something like that. But the Vega did a great job capturing the, the car. I mean, even to the point where the, right here, the, um, where the logo would go for the alpha so um, anyway these are like tapes tape that i taped down the trunk a little bit just to kind of hold it down and come back out a little bit so yeah so this turned out nicely now i went ahead and i'll show you a couple other mesh items i went ahead and did a scan of the engine bay um, might or might not need it, but I wanted to do that. I also measured in certain places and it was really fairly accurate, just like the whole body. The problem you gotta just be careful when you're scanning large items, like let's say the body, and I'll go back to it. Sometimes the scanner can lose track and the measurements aren't as good. Um, the they just they get out of whack um, but this one Vega did a really really good job it wasn't perfect uh, but it was really really close to being perfect so I'm truly happy with it um, the smaller items that you uh, you scan here it holds measurements a lot better because it's you're not making such a big file or it's not trying to re trying to connect up and connect the points and do all that stuff and also you don't need markers um, little dots everywhere like I, like we have on the body itself. And then I did the interior, which I thought looked really cool, right? So the interior's got the new, um, got all the um, areas that we have. There's a little noise here, but it got the new tunnel and all that, the mount. Let's see, the mount for, again, a little noise here the mount for the steering column, and I did some measurements and it's fine. I don't need very, I don't need a, a massive detail um, scanning this car because it's just the body. If I was scanning a car part, I would wanna do more HD and take my time and get as much detail as possible. But the detail here is really good um, you can even see where this, um, the floor pan, pan was um, 
welded in and you can see even here where some of the weld was at and I've got all this seam sealed as well same here uh, but I thought it looked great even the back the back hatch let me see if I can get this better now and come in for you there you go even back here I thought did really good so I am very pleased scanning is so important when you're doing these types of restorations because it's good to have this data let's say the interior because when I put the the dash in and then I'm gonna be working here soon on the AC evaporator box and how I'm gonna load that in so been able to take this data and do measurements and 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 move around and, and scan the box and put the box in there I can move things around and get it fairly accurate so I am super super impressed uh, with what's going on and how how well the scan did now it wasn't my first time I'll have to admit I scanned it many a times um, before I got this on film um, which was our really basically my last scan so yeah so I am very happy with it this gives me a full body to do measurements to make parts that I need so on and so forth that video is coming up exactly what we're going to be doing you probably can guess but it'll be it'll be coming soon so let's kind of wrap this video up here uh, and and go from there but as you can see 3d scanning is awesome we use the instar vega it was a friend of mine's that let me borrow it so um, i really appreciate it so this is not a um, sponsored video from um, from instar or shining 3d this is just a friend that let me borrow his vega to test um, i'll tell you i am working on a sponsorship with shining 3d and that's going to be coming soon uh, but this gave me a chance to really do my very very first 3d scan of a car outside of using my iphone i think it's a 17 pro with some free scanning software and it doesn't work worth the flip so this is much much better so we're going to go ahead and end the video stay tuned for the next one it's coming up very soon we're going to be doing some really cool things on the interior for us getting the AC box put in place and um, what have you. So please, as always, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and God bless.